What's up, y'all? This is Straight Drop Uncut, and of course, it's your girl, Chella H, the realest bitch in it. And I'm your man, Big Boss Bo Deal. You already know what it do. That's right. Two of the realest motherfuckers around, period. Facts. My brother, Bo, how was your week? My week was good. You know what I'm saying? I spent a lot of time with the family. You know what I'm saying? Uh, getting ready for, for this uh, lunch party. Okay. On October twenty seventh, the RTS lunch party. All no. y'all invited. That that shit free all night. That shit gonna crack. All my shit always be busting though. Yeah, you know, know what I'm saying. But this one gonna really be over busting. That's we in that joint. That's what's up. And of course, I had a busy week. You know me, just staying free all the time, getting prepared to drop my new music as well. Right, I already know. You already know, so we'll talk too. about that a little later. <laughs> right now, we gonna talk about our special guest. You did. Prince motherfucking T Dub. What's happening? What's happening? It's in the building. What's happening? Thank y'all for having me. Thank y'all for having me. It's only right. Um, everybody know that you like the king of skits. I mean, like, that, how that's did you, the how king. Did you, that's the king. Uh, no, okay, I say the princess. Appreciate it. Appreciate. The, the I don't want to make nobody mad. Exactly. exactly. No, exactly. Get, the one of the kings, though. Like, one of the kings. Yeah, I'm, king. yeah, I'm, I'm king. running with the king. Chella said. Right. Hey, hey, hey. The king. But you know what? I said prince because it's more appropriate. <laughs> yeah, prince, prince, you know. Yeah. So you know, prince king. They both are royal. Yeah. 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 Royal. Yeah. Speaking of royal, we know purple is your favorite color, right? Purple, red. I got a few favorite colors. Okay. Yeah, I got All right. Why you say I know, purple, though? I, I said purple because Prince got this purple Chevy. <laughs> oh, the Mustang. The Mustang. <laughs> That's the Mustang. Hey. The hey, drop top Mustang. Yeah, it's gone now. It's, it's gone. gone. They repoed yeah, it. Yeah, no. Nah, somebody stole it. No. Nah, yeah. We're talking about repoed it. They stole it? <laughs> I had the title to that. Oh, okay. Well, whoever stole it. <laughs> whoever hey. stole it, y'all wrong for that. They were hating on me. You know what I'm saying? They were hating on me. So it was purple because the prince, because the name prince and the no, purple car. No, it was just in the car. I used to do uh, a lot of car shows. So okay, I used to paint okay. my cars these crazy colors, put the big wheels on it, put in the car show, win like first place and stuff. Exactly. Oh, Every yeah. time, first place. First place, you know. Yeah. Sometimes they were hating on me, though. But I, I won first place a couple times. That's right. That's what's up. That's what's up. Appreciate it. How, how did you get started with the skits? Like, what was you doing, like, that make you just be like, you know what, I'm about to do these kids. I'm about to change my life and make this a career? Man, okay, so back in uh, 2000, maybe like 10, 11, you know what I'm saying? I was on 35th because I got out of school early. I went to Lincoln Challenge, you know what I'm saying? So I was out of school at 16. So I'm up there on 35th messing with the Dunbar chick because they had just got out of school. Right. I ran into this cat named Dante Fane. He was like, man, he was hanging up these posters for a party that he was doing with the Pope up at uh, the Harold Washington Culture Center. So when he seen me, like, man, you got to look, man. You got to look, man. I, what you do? You sing, rap? What you do? I'm like, I don't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because at that time, I ain't do nothing. I'm like, I don't know what I do. You know right. what I'm saying? I'm just up here. And uh, he just kept working with me. He came out with the Real Awakening TV show. When he came out with that, he called me like, man, could you act at least? I'm like, nah, I can act. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I went down there. And they gave me the role playing the comedian on the show. So okay. from there, you know, got me a little fan base, and I just never really stopped. Well, I did stop at one point. I started selling cars and stuff like that because I'm like, man, this ain't for me. It was a little headache, you know what I'm saying, being in the business, a lot of people hating and a lot of stuff behind the scenes. So I kind of stopped, but when something for you, it's for you, exactly. you know what I'm saying, because it came back around like a hula hoop, you know what I'm saying? Period. You did, you know what I'm saying? And from there, man, I just never stopped doing them. That's what's up. What was you doing? We know that you was um, selling cars and being at car shows. Did you have any odd jobs or where did you work at like regular places? Like oh, uh, I worked at KFC. Okay. I work. I was the cook in there. You know that's okay. why. Why I never eat in that joint again. <laughs> I know what I was doing. <laughs> they told me to change the chicken. We had time cards on chicken. You got to change it. You right. Know what I'm saying? But I, that mean I gotta go back there and get in the flower. I ain't feel like it, so I just changed the time. Tick chicken bit up there since ten o'clock. Period. It's Nine o'clock in the evening, I'm still selling that same chicken. So basically, you wasn't changing. I the wasn't chicken. changing. Then I worked at Lawrence Fishery. You know what I'm saying? I worked there. I got five from there. Fuck them. Fuck y'all, Lawrence Y'all see Fisher. this? I'm Nasty glad y'all fired me. Flats. <laughs> I'm glad y'all fired me because I'm good. <laughs> so look, what was up. the first? Uh, skit you did that made you go viral. The the one that went viral was the for the pussy challenge. You know what I'm saying? That's what did it from when I did that. Uh, you know everybody rapping for the pussy. Right. You know what I'm right. Oh okay. So okay. I, I took that right. beat. I did me one, and uh, 
I'm talking about like overnight, it got like a million views on it. So then all through the next day, I'm just watching it go up and go up. And then somebody sent me like, man, Snoop Dogg just posted. I'm like, Snoop Dogg just posted. Let me see. I go to Snoop page. It's on Snoop page. I go to right. a couple of different other people page. It's on their page. I'm whoa. I did a part two to it. Like, <laughs> exactly. Let me see what's up with this. Exactly. I did the part two. It did the same thing. So I just uh, from there, I just never really stopped. Right. You know what I'm saying. And then because I did the for the pussy challenge in the car, it took place in the car. I just did all my videos in the car after that. So right. every one of them, I just be in the car. Whatever I do, it's just in the car. Right. That's dope. So basically, your biggest thing was the for the, the pussy, pussy challenge. Definitely. What's the craziest thing you ever did for some pussy? That's the what crazy I want to know. Jeez, man. Going over a house, knowing a boyfriend stayed there, knowing he could just walk in at any time. You know what I'm saying? So when he at work, I'd go over there. I, I, that's what I was doing. I, I didn't care. I would do. take some Taking chances, taking some risks for the. But bus. she like, man, you know, I know he at work, he good, he ain't coming in. I'm all, right, I'm on my way, bitch. I'm on my way. That's what we say. Man, that month. Yeah, niggas do some crazy shit it, for the pussy. Oh, that happened, listen, that happened to me, but the the, the shit didn't end the, the right way. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he came through. The nigga came home. Man, e. Right, true story. Right hand to guy. Nigga come in. You know what I'm saying? Right. She hit a door open, so she jump up. You know what I'm saying? And he come in. I, I done fix, put my shirt down, fix it real quick and shit. So he ain't paying no attention because he looking at her. He, man, bring your ass here. She go in the front. He said, bring your ass. I'll kill every motherfucker in. Take out the pistol, cock that motherfucker and everything. I'm like, bro, Damn. homie, homie, homie. Damn. Don't. But he talking about her, though. Right, so the beef ain't with you. It ain't with it's me. With her. But I'm telling him, hey, don't do that, bro. It ain't even worth it. We ain't right. doing shit but talking. You know what I'm saying? Because so like, <laughs> if he kill her... He got the knock. <laughs> Cause you <laughs> witnessed it. This nigga gotta knock me off. You know you what I'm saying? It, right. yeah. But he knew who I was, and he like, man, you know what? I I know you. I respect you, bro. And I know you ain't know nothing about me. You right, know what right. I'm saying? But wasn't nothing really going on though, for real. But I'm like, I just want, you know what I'm saying? But it, it, it could have been. It was but it, going it, on. It, man, yeah. no. Nah. Right? Cause you had just. No, no, I ain't just kidding. <laughs> so how you was fixing your shirt? Oh, because I'm making sure I'm I'm just getting myself together for right. whatever might happen. But nothing happened though. Okay. But it could have, you so know. So you still stick to that? That's cool. Yeah, I'm not. I'm glad yeah, nothing, nothing did happen yeah. because if he if something would have happened, ain't no telling how shit would have ended up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't I don't want no smoke. I ain't living life like that no more, man. And I'm advising you don't do. Nah, no, I'm done with that. Oh, okay. It's over with. Right. Okay. It's over with for me. Right. Hey, hey, I ain't mad at you. I know I watch your page a lot, you know. Um, so I was like scrolling through it, and I saw you doing a skit talking about how women get offended depending on how you ask for head. Ask for head, yeah, they do. Right. Well, I guess it depends on your relationship with them. Mm -hmm. What's some ways, both of y'all being guys, that y'all? How do y'all ask for head? Do y'all just bust out like? See, that's how I usually do it, but it insult them. You know, I use like, man, go on, go on, go on, stop this one. You know what I'm saying? Go on. That's the right What you mean? But I guess it depends on who the person is, how long you known her. I know you don't just meet a bitch like, hey, baby, how you doing? You know, you looking real good. Why don't you go and knock this motherfucker down? You do? I done tried that. Like from the club, you leave from the club, get it to the crib. You know, y'all chilling. Y'all already at the, it's after the club. It's late. Nigga, I don't suck this motherfucker real fast. You don't get me out of the way. It works sometimes. Hey. Majority of the time. It works sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, You know what you had for? Back in the day. Back in the day. It was a long time ago. I don't do it no more. I definitely don't. I don't, I ain't with it no more. No, I ain't with none of that. I'm, uh, I'm tied down. I'm smoking for it's long time. Yeah. Okay. I That's a, no what smoke. about you? I know a lot of ladies, you know, they be like, oh, Prince fan. You know Prince? And I'm like, yeah, I know Prince. Hook me up. <laughs> Are you single? Like the ladies want to know. Are you single? No, I ain't single. You're not? Okay, no. well, there you no. have it, ladies. He's took because guess what? He got a cover up for his girl. So, you know, he'll tell me to scoop later. No, I'm just talking with you. I'm just fucking with you. I'm just fucking with you. Well, that's good. I love to see my black brothers always, you know, holding down the queens. Mm -hmm. You know, black love is powerful. Powerful. I'm a victim of the black love myself. So, what can I say? It's beautiful. Love that's is what's beautiful. Up. That's love. what's up. Family, when it's real love, you know. Yeah. Real love is always beautiful. That, exactly, real That's love. Fact. That's real what love. matters. I recently saw him. I recently saw you on a clip with Monique. Monique, yeah. What yeah. is that like? Like, I know just growing up and growing in a comedy world, you getting to be around man. these celebrities. What was that like? Oh man, it was. Now it's like 
she give me like a auntie nephew <laughs> vibe now. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just, cause we finna, uh, I did a, a comedy special with her that come okay. out on Showtime in January. So that's like gonna be huge for me. And it was just like, man, when I first met her, we did the show out in um, Las Vegas. You know what I'm saying? She had the residency out there. Right. So I was just coming out there to see the show. I really went out there for the fight. Uh, Adrian Broner boxing match. She gave me some tickets. Uh-huh. I'm like, bet I'm going out there. And we was looking for something to do. And we know she had a, a residency out there. So we went to the comedy show. First night we went there. We chilling. We see the show. show was funny, too. Uh, so a couple of more of my homies came in town. After that, they like, I'm like, man, y'all got to come up check out this comedy show. So we went back, got the same tickets, uh, little booth and everything, set in the same booth. And when she got off stage, she seen me and she came to me and she was like, uh, could you come back and do some time uh, to my, do seven minutes for me on the stage? And uh, she said, come back suited and booted. Now, I don't right. really know what suited and booted mean because you know, I got jogging suits and I'm out here for the fight. Right. So I'm like, man, what a, what's suited and booted? I'm asking everybody, what's suited and booted mean? They like, man, she wants you to put on a suit. I'm like, man, I ain't got no damn suit in the bag. So I went back the next day with a blue jean suit on. I did the show, killed the show. But she was like, yo, yeah, you were supposed to be suited and booted. Like, what? <laughs> like, I killed the show. What about the show? She right. Like, no, nah. that's when she explained to me that people spend good money to come out and see comedy shows. So if you just up there and you don't really care about how you dress, then it's kind of like, so I'm like, okay, you know what? You're right. So I went to go buy a suit and did the next show for it. And then after that, they was just like, I was locked in. She, yo, I got you, whatever you need. And she called me for the Showtime special and threw me on the joint. And, Right. Man, I've met a lot of people since then. That's and what's up. So you went to KNG, got you a suit. We, I, went to, oh, I went, to, went to Macy's. I went to Macy's. I went to Macy's. Oh, I went to Macy's on there. Yeah. Hey, you did. Hey, I ain't I mad at you. <laughs> hey, I ain't mad. No, no, that was Macy's for the, uh, the one out in Vegas. Yeah. He, he's sticking to it. Hey, stick to it. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> hey, I ain't mad at you. That's what's up. What is it any comedians that, like, inspired you to do... Like, what are some of your favorite? Who are some of your favorite comedians? Top all time, Bernie Mac. Bernie that's Mac. That's my top. Up, right. Like, rest in peace. Oh, rest in peace, Bernie Mac. That's my top. You know what I'm saying? Because he said what he wanted to say. You know, it was no limitations on what he would say. You really right. never knew what he was gonna say. Mm-hmm. He just said it. And I think I want that same style of comedy. No limitations to what right. I can say. I just say it. I met Bernie Mac a while back. He stayed in Bump Building back in the day. A word? Yeah. word? Because he from Chicago. Yeah, he from Chicago. Yeah, so, yeah, Yeah. I met Bernie Mac. Is it any, like, in a comedy world, you know, it's the difference between funny and popular. Yeah. Is it any comedians you just be like, this nigga is... Man, yeah, it's a few. I know few, uh, it's a few. You it's a few. Um, yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah, because it is. <laughs> like, I ain't gonna say no names. I ain't gonna say no names. I don't, don't want to get blackballed. What you, what you doing, man? But right. Yeah. It's, but shout out to them. You know yeah, shout out to everybody who work and doing something positive. You know, mm-hmm. if it's working for you, do it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just don't get into people. Cause see, what ends up happening is. Because I do, a lot of people don't do stand-up comedy. They do the videos and they don't do stand-up comedy. But they just try to do the stand-up comedy. Because you got a large following, some clubs will let you do it. And they're like, man, come on, bring you bring the people and do it. Right. And they go up there and they bomb. They do bad. So right. now people look at all the social media comedy right. like, man, I ain't finna gamble with these niggas. You know what I'm saying? So some comedy clubs don't even want to let you in if you don't have a good resume of doing stand-up. So right. it's kind of like harder for me to get in places because they do stuff like that. But, right. And it is a difference that stand up and doing them yeah, skits. Yeah, just doing them skits on the phone. Yeah. yeah, when you in front of them people, like yeah. on the phone, you can do a hundred takes if you want to. You know right. what I'm saying? Till you get the right one. Right. On that stage, when you in front of them people, you can't. Right. You ain't right. no messing up. Right. I ain't no messing up. <laughs> hey, I got a funny story. One time, me and Prince was at a comedy show. You mean? Me? <laughs> <laughs> he was at a comedy show. I know you ain't gonna bring it up, but it is. You know, it is what it is. I'm a real bitch, so you know, it is what it is. But. The comedian that was there was just like saying, like he was just like extra cocky, and he was like talking about the place, like this motherfucker hole in the wall. And, and he was white, one. Yeah, white he dude. was white, yeah. and he was talking about Trump, and he was saying all kind of shit. Mm-hmm. And we was there, and it it, it just was crazy. It, we had, <laughs> hey, the nigga. Did you go off on the first? Or you I, said? I I didn't go off on him. I said. Because he kept belittling everybody. Mm-hmm. That's what I was getting And then from he was saying that funny. you couldn't record or something like that. He was like, no, it wasn't could, me. No, it was not you. I'm just saying everybody. Yeah, was he was like, don't record me. Don't feel me. We like, nigga, we in Blue Island. There's yeah. 30 motherfuckers in here. Humble yourself. Uh-huh. 
and he was like, oh, he got to getting disrespectful. And my nigga ran him. Man. <laughs> ran him on stage. Man, G, I'm yeah. like, please get him. Please. <laughs> he like, man, fuck. Because that's how he is. He for the people. So when he gets to see other motherfuckers, he decided he'll take it upon himself and be super man. saver. Right. And they end up putting us out. And motherfuckers like, that's chill. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but now nah, he was no nah, fan was the, mad disrespectful. He was, he was, he was, he was a clown. Now. He was yeah. a clown, yeah. and then they told him afterwards, like, man, that's Chella, you can't really mm -hmm. do that in the city. So he changed his whole personality. Changed his whole, you, you know, did. It's all yeah, good. Changed so. the whole you What's did. the craziest shit happened to you at a at a comedy show? You get a lot of love, but you ain't never had no backlash. Nah, I, yeah, I don't run into that at, at the show. Yeah, up. so my show would be smooth. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, uh, like. It'd be different with the show we was at. It was kind of like one of them open mic things. You right. know what okay. I'm saying? Where you okay. pay $5 to get in. People pay $5. They don't really care. It's like we see comedy. If not, we go over here and talk. We shoot some pool. Right. Okay. okay. My show kind of be a little different because they, they spend a little pretty penny to come out. Right. So I don't mm -hmm. think you want to just yell out anything because right. I stopped the show. <laughs> nigga, I walk off the motherfucking stage. Nigga, y'all won't do this shit. You know what I'm saying? So nobody really do that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Cool. They come out and enjoy themselves. Yeah, that's, that's what's up. Then I don't assault nobody. Like, you know, I see people that, you know, people pull out their phones, record. Like, fan was kind of being mad, disrespectful. Yeah, he, right. people he was they real extra. Okay. Like, he he was just extra. It's like, nigga. Yeah, he thought he was bigger Dude, than Dude, who the fuck? I was on some shit. He was, he was weak as hell. <laughs> um, I wanted to know, I know you said you got the special on Showtime coming mm -hmm. up in January. Anything else that we can be looking forward to? What TV, movies? I know you got a lot of things coming and, and uh, things you've done already. I filmed a movie out in Dominican Republic uh, that's coming out. It's going to be out soon. Uh, I got to get the Zach Dave, be on the lookout for that. That experience right there alone, just being out the country. I had to stay out there for almost a month to film mm. this movie. I ain't never been out the country right. until that time. You so know that was saying? your first that time. Was, man, it was an amazing experience. Dominican Republic. I encourage anybody, go to Dominican Republic. Exactly. Everything cheap out there. So when you I had a passport already? Yeah, I had a got passport one already. Then. Okay. Yeah, I had it already because right. I was planning on going out of the country. Right. And uh, I just never had got around to it. So when they called me for the movie, I'm like, no, we going to lock it in. You exactly. know what I'm saying? That's dope. Yeah, I, I heard it was cheap. I heard bitches be out there selling pussy for twenty five dollars. Forty dollars. Forty dollar house. Forty dollars. <laughs> Cause that's two thousand dollars to them. You right. Know what I'm saying? Right. So two thousand, two thousand pesos. So it's forty dollars U.S. dollars. Mm -hmm. I was giving that four dollars away like <laughs> <laughs> making it rain on them hoes. Literally. <laughs> yeah. Here's eighty for your trouble. Exactly. Here you go. Hey, yeah, I heard about that. That's crazy. That's crazy. I don't know. Them bitches be fucking. And they bad, bad too. I'm talking about yeah. bad. bad. I couldn't believe this. I'm talking about for the fuck. <laughs> right. You like pinching yourself. See, I couldn't real. believe this. Like when they walk me in the club, they're like, anybody you want in here, fam, anybody else. I'm like, are you lying? I'm talking about club full of, they just walk up to one of them, let them know you ain't from here. I'm not going to try this. Walk up. Hey, man, I ain't from here. Okay, papi, where you want to go to? What, papi? Blah, blah, blah. I'm translate. Translate what the fuck she just exactly. said. <laughs> exactly. She said, Yeah. yeah. So you just was having a ball. Well, they oh, was man. having a ball, literally. Man, they, yeah. They was having some balls. Some they was ball. having a ball. <laughs> <laughs> literally. <laughs> I mean, Two balls. <laughs> hey, that's what's up. That's what's up. Um, what other places? I know a lot of times, me, myself, I like to travel. Mm -hmm. We all like to travel. Everybody trying to get out the city. Yeah. We stay traveling. What's some of your favorite places to go travel and just, like, kick back? Or is it just all work? Uh, just to chill, man, it would have to be like Atlanta. Uh, yeah. Atlanta would be a good spot. I, mean, I got family. My brother stay in Atlanta. We hardly see each other. So I'm a family person, you know what right. I'm saying? So when I want to just go chill, just to be around family is good f for me. Yeah. You know, so Atlanta, just go out there, chill with him and the family, my nieces, nephews, kick it. You know what I'm saying? Then I get a lot done in Atlanta. A lot of people out there. Right. Yeah, Atlanta is the way. Atlanta yeah. is the way. I know that you kind of consider a pretty boy. I know you know that. That's what they say. Know. That's what they say. Right. So <laughs> have you ever had any experiences like with guys, like bitches being in your DM, they niggas coming through, yeah, hating, all of that? Absolutely. How do? How is that? Like, what's some crazy shit that happened? Uh, man. Um, what's the craziest thing that happened with a nigga? Uh, I mean, of course, nigga call your phone, nigga text you for theirs. Right. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is. I be like, nigga, I don't even like her like that. You right. know what I'm saying? Like for you, like if you want me to stop, I, that's all you gotta say, fam. All that right. threatening shit. Like you don't make me go talk. I want to know what type of power put she put on you exactly. for you to be acting like that. But 
I mean, it don't get too crazy because I ain't finna fight you over none of these bitches. Exactly. Uh, I ain't on that. It ain't that serious. You just let them niggas know. Look, fam, I ain't even on her like that shit. Yeah, I ain't even on You know, she in my DM. She in my car. I, I was dropping the chick off one day. I, she, I had met her at the club. We at the club. I was taking her home that next morning. It was a long time ago. Long, long time ago. I don't get down like that no more. But I was taking her home, and I was pulling up to the crib. She stayed, like, right across the street from Old Block. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. down 630 when I was pulling up. And I'm finna drop off because I had some other stuff to do. She's like, man, keep going, keep going. Hurry up, go, go. I'm like, go? What the fuck do you mean? And uh, I'm, yo, your house right here. You got to get out. Sure, they're like, man. You, and uh, her boyfriend was out there waiting on her. I don't know how long he was sitting out there, but he was waiting on her. So when I was dropping off, I guess he looked in the car and seen her in the car. We were pulling off, started chasing the car. I'm talking about chasing. I'm on like, feet? sure. No, he was in his car. Okay. So he get to pull behind me. He get to speed him down. I'm, yo, you going to have to call him and tell him something. I got that thing in here. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I, I'm, I'm concealed. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Like, yo, you know, if you love him, you know what I'm saying? Keep him alive. Tell him go going to turn off. Exactly. Or you going to have to jump up out of here. You know what I'm saying? So she ended up, I got down a little bit where he was. Kind of back, I mean, go on, get out, go on, deal with him. You know what I'm saying? So she got out, told him something. And, uh, shit, he kept it moving. She called me, like, five hours later, like, man, everything all good. I'm sorry about that. I'm, damn, you alive still? <laughs> <laughs> like, because you ain't checked on the shit, see? That's a note, ladies, after they... Hey. No, you got to tell me you got a boyfriend. Yeah, you right. ain't told me. Gee, oh, you, she, oh, you didn't yeah, know. Yeah, you put me in a bad situation. Right. When I'm checking on, you check on me. Right. And then that's like weak nigga shit to me. Like, I ain't never got no problem with the nigga. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? If, 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 if my chick fucking around, my problem with her. It ain't with yeah, it ain't The ain't nigga with... don't owe me nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Weak niggas. I ain't finna kill nobody over no, no stankin' ass bitch. I'm but, not going to do it. Man. <laughs> if she doing some dirty ass shit, she a dirty <laughs> motherfucker. If you dirty your ass, thank you. Okay, okay. Well, let me ask y'all this: since you said you ain't know she had a boyfriend, what if the ladies do, does that make a difference? If she tell you like I got a guy, do that make you be like, you know what, I ain't fucking with you like that? I mean, I'm gonna let you answer that. <laughs> no, that don't mean uh, her, her her guy ain't my man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he ain't my homie. So yeah. I don't, that exactly. Don't concern. Now, if you married, I don't fuck with no. I wouldn't. Well, I don't fuck with nobody now, but I wouldn't fuck with no married women or right. nothing like that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? If you married and shit like that, I st that's off limits to me. But if you got a guy, right? Yeah, I don't know you guys. Yeah, so you a do a married? I can see it in his ass. He I ain't, ain't got shit that. to do with the married. <laughs> Not married. So you no. got certain morals. Yeah, I ain't gonna do the the Mary thing, yeah, you know. That's good. It depends. Well, well I was gonna right. say you looking, you looking, he looking like because I'm thinking know. about it. Got it depend on who it is, though. You know, not right now, but back in the, I would have. But uh, it depends. Like the right, like damn, you know what I'm saying? That's a tough one. But I ain't on that though. She say she got a boyfriend. I may still do. It. Right. I may still do. It. Right, but, but just tell me though. You right. Know, just Let tell you me. know so you can be prepared just be for prepared. the. Be prepared. You know what I'm saying? Engine. So. When I was dropping her off, I would have knew, like, okay, it's a possibility. Your boyfriend may be here. Let me drop you off on the next block. Let or me do that. Send in you know an Uber. Saying? Send you in an Uber. You right. know what I'm saying? But me pulling up in a flesh like that, that was dangerous. Yeah. It, it gets dangerous. You know, guys, they get controlling and they real, you know, you start off with a nigga in one way, then they switch it up. Just like Kanye. Right. You know, what, what, what do y'all think? We were just talking about that, Bo. Right. Um, right. Mad at uh Kim, he say she dressing too sexy, and you know what I'm saying now. Oh, he said that now? Yeah, he, yeah, that's been all over the internet. Like they say he mad cause she dressing, but when you met her, that that's how I she was. You was actually you said that was art. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. He said that was art. They didn't see that she naked <laughs> already. Like the right. fuck, she dressing got the she done been seen naked <laughs> in the new. Well, maybe he feel like you know. It's time going on. They got kids now. You know, he, everybody then. doing the, the gospel thing. Oh, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And he yeah. said make him look bad or some shit. Right. And she did tell him, that's your journey, not that's mine. Right. I like that. Yeah, what is that? I got to see this. It's all I over seen the little clip or something yeah. before we started. So yeah. they ain't together? Yeah, they, they ain't together. together. They ain't. He just stormed off. He <laughs> <laughs> was just a little upset, but I'm sure they'll talk about it. They too great so i'm sure they hold it down yeah. what what do you think about that would you ever i know you said you kind of tied down you know everybody tied down now yeah. for whatever reason but okay <laughs> um would you ever date a stripper or a woman that's just like real sexual uh and, and wife not date right wife wife would I, you wife a stripper no nah, i can't i can't uh nothing against strippers 
uh, for any strippers if y'all watching it. Nothing against y'all. I just can't because I'm just, I don't want nobody looking at my girl and smacking her right. ass. And they're all like, no, nah, that, that's for me. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I couldn't do that. Right. I couldn't do that. What about you, Bob? Not at all. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't like, I can't, well, nothing against the strippers or nothing. Yeah. But I ain't fucking with you, no stripper, if you had, like, I don't like fake asses and fake titties. Mm -hmm. I'm scared of them. Oh, I'm yeah, scared yeah. to suck fake titties. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, right. that's a poison <laughs> off in your goddamn mouth. Now you got an abscess. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is crazy. You know what I'm saying? I just like natural. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what I'm saying? Your natural beauty is, is good enough for and me. And then I just feel like they, they, they'll cheat on you. You know what I'm saying? Right bag come into play, they'll cheat on you. Especially being there, all all new niggas, all new money. It's enticing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, you may yeah. go ahead on and make a move on me. You know what I'm saying? I can't really mess with that. Well, I don't know. I mean, I ain't no stripper, but I can't speak on the behalf of women. When we get a certain nigga we like, we turn into straight for them. Did that mean stop stripping? I mean, well, I'm not a stripper, so I, if that's your source of income, but I know... With my own experience, I mean, I never was a stripper, but when you get a nigga you like, it don't really matter about the money. Uh, okay. Like, when you get attracted to that brain, and that brain just become like, it's just something about it, you know? But, but when it. times get hard, though, do that brain still go there, or do that brain be like, this money right this here? This money right here, let me go and get that. I ain't been in that position, thankfully, right. so I can't Cause speak I, on that. Because I didn't whisper a lot of sweet nothings in strippers' ears, and I didn't <laughs> got them to change their whole mind. You right. know what I'm saying? So I'm pretty sure the right nigga walk in the club, she'll go. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. I well, believe so, too. Yeah. So you ain't a stripper. You ain't taking your clothes yeah, off. Yeah, so you wouldn't know. You no wouldn't know so you got to yeah. be a, right. a special kind of girl to do that. You right, you do, you do, because I'm extra shy. You know, so mm -hmm. I ain't really the one to be walking around titty hanging. But what made me say that was because he said for the right amount of money. I just know. But you right. See, you know what? That right nigga walking that club, she go! <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's happy. It go! That's happy. It, it, you know, to each his own. Shout out to them. Do you, sis, get your money? You know, hey, nigga got to step it up, right? Yeah. No, I'm just A lesson you can take her out completely out the strip club. Right. You can get out of that now. Okay, we're going to let go of your past. You know what I'm saying? You done with that. But if she's still in there, first of all, if she's still in there after she meets you, then it's a problem anyway. Cause you supposed to financially put her in a position where she ain't gonna need that. You right, know what I'm exactly. Like, yeah, let's go ahead and get you it. up out of that. You know what I'm what saying? What if she was a stripper that was doing dicks though for money too? And doing now dicks. she want to change her life, doing. You can't. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> if she was doing them though, like, and you know that, I don't even think you get to the point of wife and that. Like, I don't, I don't know how you can make a mistake like that. You'd be surprised. Like you, you'd be surprised. I know some niggas who wifed bitches that they pimped on. Yeah. And then yeah. now they with them and together, kissing her in the mouth and all that. Go with her. Like this. <laughs> we together. Yeah. Kill you over. <laughs> I know some niggas that take their girl to the club to strip and they stay there with them while they do them and then they just all go, go home, home after year. That takes a lot that of patience. It, it, it takes a lot of you. You got to be right here with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You this ain't have right. A real connection. Man. Because I can't watch that. You just sitting there looking at. No. Oh. No, I'll be ready to fight. I'll be ready to fight. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I, I hate when a bitch, or if my nigga sneeze, I don't need no bitch blessing. Yeah. Bitch, he's blessed. He has me. I hate that. I don't like no my nigga liking no bitch. Picture, I don't like no bitch walking past now, somebody. Now, why is that? Why is that? I don't understand I don't that. Like right. it because you can mentally like it. You don't need what? to let no bitch. Because what you getting out of letting her know that you like the picture? You're it's trying to connect love. with her. No, it's showing love. You don't love. need to show. That's the fucking no, problem. Ain't no showing love. That's how she stay in your algorithm. If you like the picture, you see more of the picture. It, like, and that's so the whole posts. purpose. So if you like her, you want her to stay in your algorithm. So whatever you say, <laughs> goddammit. I don't like that shit. The fuck? See, y'all women be tripping. Be no, tripping, man. That's what Instagram for. Show some love, like some pictures. You know what I'm saying? No, she ain't no like, like yours back. You know see, what that's mean? what I'm saying. See, and that, no, they get now your y'all clarifying it. No, it ain't. It don't mean he messed around or nothing like that. Just that's I don't like that. See, that's a connection. No, but Them listen. picture likings, that's a connection. That's letting. So her what about know all look. the niggas liking your pictures and shit? Right? They fans. They go like my pictures. We ain't talking about me. We talking about my nigga. It's not <laughs> to like a bitch picture. I don't like that shit. I don't ain't like that. Y'all girls cool with all the sexy pictures y'all be liking? No, I, they don't I, see I, I can't like those pictures no more exactly that's what but, i'm saying that's but I, I didn't see it. nothing wrong with it showing some love like you that, know what see, i'm you saying you said he's talking about showing some love, love. You, you gotta show love to, show to get it if you want love like what we're doing right now right 
You know what I'm saying? I want everybody to support what the fuck we got going Absolutely. on. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So in order to get that support, yeah, I got to show. Do I got a point. Why you want to knock his point? 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 We talking about you, well, not you, but my nigga liking a bitch picture. That, no. You just said your girl ain't a fan of it, right? She not. Okay, I, so don't like all, no pictures no more. We just trying to understand no what make y'all mad about it. Like, I, I just want to know so I, I can clean it up. I just don't feel like it's necessary. You can mentally like So I like might it. well not even follow. You? We might well not even follow other women. Okay. What the fuck you following bitches for? <laughs> you know, I don't like that shit. No way. So, hey, you ain't hurt nobody. You know, it's a lot of... Mm-mm. They give bitches the wrong impression. It do. It they do. They give it bitches could. the wrong impression. No, if you liking a lot of them, but if you like, I don't a give a fuck. Yeah, because guess what? When my if my b- nigga like a bitch picture, guess what? Oh, Chella nigga liked my picture, and it take they whole. Now the bitch think it's a chance. See, bitches think it's chances. I'm thinking I'm yeah. from a bitch yeah, perspective because I know. Yeah. Because yeah. I know, <laughs> and I don't like that shit. <laughs> attitude thinking about it. I don't like that shit. <laughs> Period. That's that, but she get mad did. for real. She liable to go out there and cut him <laughs> right. the fuck out. Uh-uh. And about that like you did two weeks ago. <laughs> uh-uh. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, we was talking about earlier about just. I know you know you be out on the road. Bitches being your DM, you're going to DI. We yeah. are you already then just told us how you got down to DI. So, long, we long time, long <laughs> so we know what you capable of. So we know what Prince is capable of. Long time. <laughs> Have you ever had a situation like with somebody like a crazy female like being just harassing you? We know it's a lot of harassment in the workplace. Like right now, a couple of guys been getting in trouble. Cuba Gooden Jr. He just had like 14, 15 females saying that he's sexually misconduct. The guy from the shower, what's his name? Jason. Yeah, Jason Mitchell. Yeah. Yeah, Like, have you ever had experience with like, you know, you run into the Monique's and the, not saying her, (laughs) but you might get somebody that be like, man, I want me some of this meat. Oh, yeah, they do that, but you got to know who to play with and who not to play with. You know what I'm saying? You got to know who, you know what I'm saying? Fine, hold on. It look like you on some sneaky stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because they they try to do some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know girls that try to sneak in and get friends with this people just to get close to me, and then she get close to me, and now it's like she tricking, she telling stuff, sending pictures, and, Mm -mm. you know, they they do stuff like that. So you just got to know who to play with out here. That was a long time ago, and I used to do that, though. (laughs) <laughs> long, long time. It ain't a long time ago. <laughs> long time ago. What about you, Bo? Nah, I ain't never had nobody play with me like that. Period. Yes. I know it happened, but like, listen, I, I believe, I believe it's a lot of niggas be on a lot of bullshit. I believe that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But my thing is, why these women coming out years later, and when one step up, then everybody else everybody step, step up. up. You know what I'm saying? Like how they doing bills, man. They, that old motherfucker about to. That's wrong. That old motherfucker gonna die in there. He finna oh, die, you know what I'm saying? saying? Come on, and now. I, and that, that, it was one that looked like a man, looked like Hulk Hogan. No like bill ain't like did that. Bill ain't did that. Bill ain't did that. Like, I just can't believe all the bitches that Bill could have had coming up. He was Bill Cosby. For a bitch that looked like Hulk Hogan, I just ain't gonna buy that. Well, I don't know about that, but I do know. A lot of times when it's guys that's popular or got money or good looking, people always be like, oh, he wouldn't do that. I remember back in the day, it was this fan ass guy. This was years ago. And he was running around. He had all the bitches. But when you can't get that one bitch, Mm. it don't matter how they look. People be wanting them. So you can't just necessarily say like he wouldn't do that. With the Hulk Hogan. I don't think he did it with Hulk Hogan. I don't think, I don't he, think, I don't think Bill don't wanted Hulk. And that's scary though, because like, why, why they, why, why do they do that? Just point the finger on nigga after, like, years, years, yeah, like, 50, 60. You know what I'm saying? Women, like, come, come on, on like, you, you, you don't even believe that. I, I don't even know. Like I don't know why. Good and junior, like he crazy. Like I think he a little off a little bit, right. but I don't think he did. Oh, what, what the fuck? All y'all, why all y'all just not coming out after this one lady come out? Then everybody want to step up. To the plate, they look at it as, a, as a payday women too. Women stick together. Women stick together. Well, y'all also, got something going on. Y'all stick together. That's y'all. A fact. You know what? That's ups and downs to that. Cause sometimes we stick together, and sometimes bitches don't. It's a lot of hating. No unity, bitches too. Now, now yeah, sometimes yeah, bitches don't come out to later. I don't know. Cause soon as some shit happened, I'm blasting the shit out. Soon as a nigga out the room, <laughs> he touched me. So I ain't one of them bitches that's gonna be holding some right. shit in. For that but many years too. I do know I, I've never been raped. I've never been 
went through a lot of shit that a lot of women went through. So I don't know, like maybe they just holding it in until they don't know how to, some people don't know how to communicate. You think that would be I mean, I don't know. I don't know. With Bill? What? Or, uh, too? Well, with Bill, I just feel like everybody ain't lying on him. Everybody ain't lying on <laughs> so him. Now, think... he probably ain't want the Hulk, but <laughs> Bill, them little pudding pops, he was trying to get more than them pudding pops slurped on. He was trying to get more than them <laughs> pudding pops slurped on. Way. Yeah. Something happened, you but, know. But what about the dropping the pills and whatever he was dropping in the Quaaludes? You think he well, did that? Like, you think he did that? Well, I saw What'd with you my say? own ass what you say? him talking about back in the day it used to be cool to get the women high did y'all see that clip he said it himself huh Dr- pills he but, said but that them high is different than no he was talking about he, he admitted that he admitted that he did an interview if i'm and not said that they were doing it or that he, he was sneaking did, it he in said there. about putting it in there this oh. is a fact i think this is my own ass we can go from him up. that he said it that. was Bill Cosby on. You know what? You are gonna have to this, show me that. You gotta show. Gonna have to pull that up. That's gonna pull, we gonna pull that up. And if you can, pull we, that up, we ain't taking yeah, up. Yeah, we can. No hey, we can. Hey, Bill ass, he did something. He did something. Right? <laughs> he did something. Everybody Boy, just sitting here. Listen, listen. But what I'm saying is this here, right? If 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 Bill if Bill did that, right? Why the fuck? 40 years, 40 years later. later. They can't even remember. If they was going off that many drugs 40 years later, 40 years they gonna later. remember all this shit. I you don't find know. All I don't of know them? You he... find all of them that he did it to? All of them? Yeah, maybe they was just like holding it in and just, you know, the settlement time came and everybody was Settlement like, They want that money. They That's want what the money. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. I don't like to speak on behalf of victims because I wasn't there. Mm-hmm. Of course. You know, I'm a oh, woman, yeah. so it's girl code. We, like you said, we got to stick together. Hey, we got to stick together. And we yeah. got to stick together as brothers, man. We, we got to stick together and yeah. start calling. Well, we out. got to. We no, got to stick together. And we got to, when these bitches get on some bullshit, we got to say that we bitch got, on some bullshit. She on some bullshit. She got on some bullshit with you. With me Period. too. And let everybody know. And Stand then, up, man. Yeah, she's lying. Hey, hey, who knows? I don't know. So I don't know. He just seemed a little, <laughs> he just a little weird to me. So I don't know. I can see him doing some sneaky shit. And know. then his cast, that was a little awkward too because his cast wasn't backing him neither. Felicia Rashad, Rudy, none of these people. Everybody was what? like, oh, because you knew it was going to come out. Well, no, they said he never did shit to them. To them? So that I should be know, good enough. I was watching. I was watching. They said he never did nothing to them. Now, Tempest Blessed, though, she ain't say that, did she? No, I, uh, Rudy did. Vanessa. Rudy did. I don't know about, but I don't know they real now. I know about Vanessa. Okay, well, I, I said Tempest, Tempest Bledsoe. The okay. only reason I remember her name, because the man who's supposed to be my daddy, his last name was Bledsoe. Supposed and, to be your dad. Well, it's a long story. He's my daddy, but <laughs> who knows? Because my mama, she, uh, you know, but that's a whole nother show. So we ain't going to go off into that. We ain't going to start talking okay, about right. my childhood issues okay, okay. around here. Yeah, but that's what's going on. Um, On the show, we play a game called Wife, Sad Bitch, and fucking never call again. I played Which that seems before. like I something that you like don't that. quite often. But that's a whole nother story. Come on now. That was a long, long time ago. Long time ago. Long time ago. I'm going to get a shirt made long time ago. Long time ago. Yeah, that's what it is. And get that shirt made at Love Handles. Love Handles. Go ahead and put me some Located at 308 East 47th Street, by the way. But that's a whole nother subject. (laughs) So we got wife, sad bitch, and And fucking never never call back. Our three people today are? Um, Meg the Stallion. That's one. I got to see a picture of her. Lala I know, Anthony. I, I know Lala Anthony. And Kiki Palmer. Kiki Palmer. Megan Thee Stallion. Megan Thee Stallion, Lala Anthony, and Kiki Palmer. Fuck, sad bitch, and never call again. Uh, I got it. Let me see that. Let me show Stallion. you Megan. Okay, let me pull up Megan. I know I heard her music, but I got to see it. Okay, I'm going to show you this. These knees, these infamous knees oh, that let everybody's me see that talking dare. about. Let me see that <laughs> dare. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> let me see that dare. <laughs> so Kiki Palmer, Megan Thee Stallion. And, uh, That's Meg Thee Stallion. Oh, <laughs> oh damn. That's Meg. And you know how Kiki Palmer looks. Yeah, I know Kiki Palmer. Then who's the other? Yeah, I know her. 
Now who the other? Lala Anthony. Lala Anthony. So I'm gonna go ahead on and wife to her. I'm a wife, wife Lala. Lala. Okay. Wife, wife Lala. Lala. You know what I'm saying? The Megan the Stallion. I'm gonna go on here and make that my little side piece. Okay, all, you know side thing. <laughs> Leaves me no choice. But the key and the B, I'm gonna go on hit that and never call again. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no, oh, well. no, nothing like that, you know. But they only gave me three choices. What right, else? Right, so do? you yeah. know, you got a wife and got savage. Got the other one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, just be grateful that she was even <laughs> able to hit it. You hit it once. Yeah. I hit it you once. Know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she, <laughs> she hittable. She right. in your collection. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and that collection seems to be a, a little lengthy. Long, long time ago. Long, long time ago. <laughs> long time ago. Phrase of the day. Long time ago. That's what's up. Prince, we think you have a lot of great things happening Thank for you. you. I do. Um, you're very Thank funny. You. We want to wish you blessings. Thank Good you. luck. All that. Let everybody know where to follow you at. I mean, you know, people follow you already, but you know. But yeah, still. Uh, Prince T Dub everywhere. Prince T Dub, Facebook, Instagram, Pornhub, wherever you searching for people at, I'm on it at Prince T Dub. That's Find me right. There. Oh, you got your Pornhub thing going? Yeah, I'm, on I'm building that too. I'm, I'm finna get into all this money there. It's, it's money there. It's I here. do it anyway for free. Hey, I ain't mad that you gonna get you a look. Tattoo. <laughs> I ain't mad at you. <laughs> That's what's up. It's your girl, Chella H, the realest bitch in it. Big Boss Bow, you know what it is. Straight drop, un Straight motherfucking drop cut. Drop, uncut. No B12, baby. Until next time. Peace.